Hello everyone, Zcore here and welcome to another annual video. Today we're going to be going, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions of the AK Alpha. No, not AK Alpha, oh my god, already, this the commentary is already great. The AK-12. So, if you were confused a little bit by the title of the video, that's just a name change for this series. The first impression series is going to be called Debut now. And I may or may not have been influenced by a YouTuber of another game and a friend to make this name change. But I feel like it's a more sufficient and suffice, uh, s no, is it succinct? Succinct? Uh, title to use for this series. And I kind of like, it sort of sounds a bit fancy and I like it. So we're just going to go with that. I thought I'd point that out. Um, also, I apologize for in advance for the uh, not top notch gameplay. Yeah, that you'll be seeing in the background. I played for a few days. I had it for a few days and I played a couple of uh, games with it. But of course, with my rustiness and, and washedness, uh, that's probably not that's probably not a word. <laughs> I wasn't able to get a sort of like super impressive gameplay or anything. But and then I ran out of uh, <laughs> out of time and, and didn't have the weapon anymore to play even if I had the time. So this is what we're stuck with. So apologies for that in advance. But um, I'm gonna start by saying uh, something that is sort of was sort of interesting for me. I don't know how you guys will feel about it, but I had a complete change of heart about this gun because the first time it came out and the first time I saw it was in a gameplay video by Skill.exe, and after I saw that, I was completely like disgusted by the gun. I didn't like the way it looked, the way it sounded, the way it played. I I was just was not excited to even test out the weapon but then after I actually bought it to, to, to you know just, just test it out because it's, I thought this was probably going to become the next meta weapon or whatever I, I sort of like fell in love with it and I feel like this gun might even become my it has a potential to become my most used gun so I don't know how that happened <laughs> what miracle led to that but I thought I'd just point it out to so you guys know how that went so we're gonna start with the looks as always it looks as if the AR GAR and the um, FY47 or AK47 had fused, and uh, it has. I think the real the running animation is like the exact same thing as the Bison. Uh, I don't know if it's still called the Bison anymore, but it has like pretty much identical um, real uh, running animation as that gun does, and it's not very nice looking. So I hope they change it, but that's probably not going to happen because they're too busy changing the animations for the M217 every time there's an update for some reason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it has a nice quick reload animation and overall it looks pretty pretty nice. It looks it looks hella good in the kill feed as well, I have to say. Now onto the stats which you guys care about, but I don't because this is the first time I'm going to be even seeing them. And um, giving them by themselves wouldn't give you guys much of a clue, I think, as to how good they do, how good the gun is, I feel. Unless you, like, study these stats day and night and, like, memorize them by heart. So I'm going to be comparing the stats directly with the AK Alpha and the Beretta, which is, um, which is what everybody else is comparing it to. Like, anytime I've seen... I've been using the gun or I see other people using the gun that's always the question the question that's raised like how does this gun compare to the Alpha and the Breda so it out damages both guns it has 86 damage I'm gonna put up the stats so you guys follow along which is four more than the Alpha and six more than the Breda it has lower RPM though in return so it's at 600 while the Alpha is 640 and the Beretta has 680. It has one less range than uh, one more. It has 17 range, which is the same as the AK Alpha, but one higher than the Beretta. Then they all have the same minimum damage drop as 57. It has a better damage drop per meter, though, so you're going to be betting, uh, uh, probably doing better with it at range. Uh, which is at 0.8, while the Alphas is at 1.1 and the Berettas is at 1. And the DPS is, um, turns out to be lower than both guns at 860, while the AK Alphas is at 875 
And the Barretto's is at 907. Holy shit, 907. <laughs> um, so besides that, the, the most important other fact, uh, stat about the gun is the hit multipliers, of course. And this gun completely sort of destroys the other two uh, across the board, I feel like. It has a 5 damage multiplier to the head, while the Alpha has 4.6, and the Beretta has 4.3. So you can ditch that ugly ass <laughs> Beretta out of the window with its dirty body shots and, and stick to this gun if you want to go back to the elite ways of headshotting instead of body shotting. Um, and, and even for the rest of the body, it has one a 1 multiplier for all of them all parts whereas the alpha has one body 0.9 for arms and legs and the beretta has one for body and arms and 0.9 for the legs so it's not going to be doing better at body shots than the um beretta probably but it's going to be obviously doing better at uh headshots be you're going to be performing better at headshots and uh for some reason, the repair cost is two thousand, about two thousand dollars higher than the other two. Well, eighteen hundred to be exact, which I don't understand why. And the recoil, I'm pretty sure it's it's way better and more controllable than both other weapons. I haven't used the AK Alpha, but from what I've seen in gameplays, you need to sort of control the recoil, and it can go a bit out of hand if you spray with it. And I used the um, the what's it called, Reda. Before it even became meta, so that's like before you guys were born, probably. <laughs> that's how long that shit was. Um, but from what I remember, the recoil on that is also pretty, at least higher than this weapon's. So with this weapon, you don't need to re uh, worry about recoil. That's a given. It also has special attachments for every single part of the gun. So it has a special silencer that reduces damage by 5% instead of 10% that I've been told for the usual silencer, rifleman silencer. It improves hip accuracy, so it's it's my it's a blessing for me. And also it eliminates sound and direction. I'm not sure if the normal silencer eliminates direction. Um, that seemed like it was the new stat or part of the, the silencer. And uh, what was it? It has a scope that you can see, probably see on the screen right now, which everybody seems to love, but it's, it's like the same issue as, or the same situation as with the X308 all over again. I don't really like this, this scope. I think it, I feel it, like it looks really, really ugly. And it, it feels really weird that for you to like scope in and for it to have like nearly no magnification in my opinion. So it's sort of, I don't really like it. That's, that's my point. <laughs> And it also has a special, um, where is it? A special grip attachment, which reduces spread and recoil by 15%, I think. And it, it, it reduces the reload duration. So, you know, as if the gun, the stats weren't already crazy, just let's slap in some extra stuff on it. But, um... Yeah, how it compares overall to the two other weapons, um, I feel like it, it probably will be able to hold up to them even do better because of the headshot multiplier, at least. Well, at least in, in when it comes to headshotting. But if, if you're like um, not very a headshot type of guy, you probably would still opt in for the AK, um, not AK, but the Beretta because you know you need those sweaty body shots <laughs> and uh, but you know on its own it's it's a really 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 good weapon like overall it's it's pretty damn amazing and really fun to use like like I said I had a change of heart with this weapon that's how good it is and how fun it was to use and AK actually he, he tested it out and he was like he said something that I found interesting and agreed with he said that I like, he said he likes how you can use it in, in, in um, can use it in different ways and, and with different play styles. And I completely agree. Like, as you saw in the gameplay, at first I was using it with Red Dot and Silencer, but then I switched to um, the custom scope and uh, the, the muzzle. Muzzle? Whatever the other attachment for the muzzle is. <laughs> that makes no sense. What the hell did I just say? Um, the, the 
the default or custom. I'm not sure. Does that have a custom muzzle attachment as well? I think. I don't remember, dude. I think it does. And just all that to say, like, it's probably. I feel like it could probably be a more flexible weapon compared to the other two as well, because the the, AK, the RGX. I like never see anyone use a silencer on it. And the AK Alpha. Well, I don't know much about that, so I can't give my opinion on that. But th this gun is super fun, super good, and probably will um, be able to amend for whatever playstyle you opt in for, I feel like. And if any of you guys want a good weapon and you're tired of the Alpha and the Beretta, or you just want you just don't like them, or for whatever reason you want to go to a new good weapon, I would recommend going for this weapon. If, if you don't have the paper. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about the weapon, you know, not much. It's only been 10 minutes, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, uh, I'm not gonna make any promises because I never keep them. But I'm I'm streaming weekly on. S s oh my god, I forgot my days. On Sundays at 10, no at 11 a.m. EST Eastern Standard Time. From now on. So yeah, watch out for that and perhaps new uploads. Hmm, I don't know. And yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.